Hey guys, so this week's video is about a male stripper that we had completely body painted with a mix of charcoal, Vaseline, acrylic, and oil paint. And we had this guy suspended in an 18 foot loft from a custom metal base that we had built and industrial chains that we had found just for this photo shoot. So if you want to see more details, definitely check out our blog. If not, stay tuned for the end of this video with more tips on lighting and how this whole shoot came together. Enjoy. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this week's videos and photos. As you guys have probably noticed, um, there was actually no behind the scenes footage of us setting up the black backdrop. And um, that's because the video crew unfortunately had to leave. So how we did that was basically we took one of those standard 10 foot long, you know, cheap metal backdrops that you just kind of pin together. We hung the black cloth that was actually uh, 10 foot by 20 foot long. And we just suspended that from the ceiling using a bunch of gaffer tape. So we just improvised ourselves a solution really to cover the windows. The next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was lighting. As most of you probably know, light stands unfortunately don't really extend 16, 18 feet high, so we're restrained with the actual height of our light stands. So I put them as high as they could go. We had them kind of just rimming our models to create that nice edge lighting to bring out the muscle definition. But I really wanted some lights from the top above because they create those amazing like shadows underneath the packs, the six packs. So how were we actually going to suspend lights 18 feet in the air? Well, luckily for us, we had these nifty little devices called nasty clamps. So, these little clamps are actually quite practical. They clamp to just about any surface and they have a really, really flexible arm. On top of that, these arms are actually extendable. Ta-da! So that's that. Finally, the last thing I wanted to mention was that Centauri, our stripper, had to actually put in a lot of effort to dehydrate his body before the photo shoot. So that meant uh, eating a lot of special foods, as you may have saw some 
peanut butter sandwiches, um, some alcohol even during the shoot to really help uh, get that muscle definition out. Um, and uh, Jessica experimented with a whole bunch of things to give us that really, really special metallic effect. So dropping that down to black and white just looked absolutely amazing. As you may have noticed, makeup actually happened twice because the first time uh, the makeup was actually too glowy and uh, we actually had to erase everything and start back from scratch. So if ever you're doing a shoot and things are not really going well, rather than just trying to salvage the situation and just barrel ahead, sometimes it's good to take a step back and make sure that everything is right before continuing. So hope you enjoyed that. We're going to come up with new videos every week. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share our video. Thank you so much.